Every one of us can make better decisions when more of our five senses are activated. Well, that same thought process can apply to bass as well. Imagine if you're going out to eat. If you take a look at the food that they bring out to you and set it down on the table in front of you, if it looks good, you're likely to eat it. If it looks good and smells good, well then you can't wait to eat it. When I approach my bass fishing, I want to do the same thing. We know that the lateral line on a bass is so critically important for sensing vibrations and dialing in location to where some potential prey might be. Well, sight is also important, especially in clear water lakes, but when we get in stained and dirty water lakes, that sense of sight is diminished. So I wanted to do an experiment today and it had to do with color, in our lure selection and then the profile, the overall profile that is seen at what distance and depth based on that color. It was really interesting and I'll be honest with you, some of the results, they aren't exactly what I was expecting. Now I spent a long time getting this ready, but it was so worth the effort that I put into it. So I've got nine colors here that I wanted to go ahead and rig up and set down in the water so we could take a look at. And the contestants are white, white and chartreuse, tequila sunrise, solid black, green pumpkin, bama craw, watermelon with red flake, watermelon with black flake, which almost looks identical to the green pumpkin, especially under the water. And then we have the popular black blue, or in this case, black with blue flake. We've heard the common thinking that in stained or dirty water that your solid color profiles, like your solid blacks or your black blues, are just great choices. But when I started to do this experiment, I was a little bit surprised at what stood out. So let's go ahead and jump into it here. So you can see that the rig that I set up, I've got these nine lures hanging here. I just rigged them up with some nails right in the top so they would try to hang straight they are about a foot under the water and there's you know it's fairly cloudy out but there's still enough light penetration that as anglers we can really see the differences in the colors the flake stands out you know as we expect when that the camera is right up close to it now as I back off, so this first one here, when I start to back off, is at about two feet, and still the colors are pretty clearly identified. The profiles can easily be seen. And then we back off to about four feet, and we start to see a difference, a noticeable difference between like the white and white and chartreuse, and then more of your green pumpkin, uh, watermelon types of colors. Now this is still at about a depth of about a foot. Now here's where things get really interesting. So I lowered all of these different stick baits down to about four foot in depth. And as you can see, the water is, you know, it's not super dirty and super stained, but it does have some pretty good color to it. Once again, if the camera is up close, you know, if a bass senses these lures with that lateral line from a distance and then gets up close to them, the colors are pretty easy to distinguish. But when we start to back off, look at here at about a two foot distance and a four foot depth, things are drastically different. That white and the white and chartreuse stand out way better than the others. And then when I back off to a four foot distance and we're still at a four foot depth, the other colors, the Bama Cross, the solid black, the green pumpkin, they're basically completely indistinguishable from that four foot distance. It is only the white and then the white and chartreuse that can be seen. I honestly was expecting something like the solid black, you know, not to be as bright, but I was thinking that I'm still gonna be able to pick out that profile that, yeah, I can see that, you know, something is there, but there's really no comparison. So. How is this going to apply to my fishing and maybe what can you do with your fishing? Well, I can tell you what, when it comes to dirtier water situations, I'm going to start to pick up the white 
way more often than I have in the past. I'd usually put the black blue on there or, you know, a solid black on there. But man, this really changed my mind on this. And I can't wait to get out on the water in a dirtier or stained water situation and have a white lure and then maybe a solid black and just start fishing and see if there's a noticeable difference in the number of bites that I pick up. I know the experiment is going to be impossible to be, you know, 100% accurate based on where I'm throwing it, if I have a bag cast, that type of thing. But I want to see, do I get way more bites on the white when there's more color to the water than I do something like a black or a black blue? I don't know, but I can't wait to go out there and try it and see what happens. If you have any comments, thoughts, questions, or maybe an experiment that you would like to see done, go ahead and drop them down below. And hey, if you would like to watch a video that talks about, you know, really understanding the nuances of different lures and how that can impact our day of fishing, go ahead and check this one out right here. Make sure you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.